Hello everyone, this is Wee Man V1, and welcome to my Let's Play of Streets of Rage. This city was once a happy, peaceful place, until one day a powerful secret or criminal organization took over. This vicious syndicate soon in control of the government and even the police force. The city has become a center of violence and crime where no one is safe. Amid this turmoil, a group of determined young police officers is sworn to clean up the city. Among them are Adam Hunter, Axel Stone, and Blaze Fielding. They are willing to risk anything, even their lives, on the streets of rage. So there's a first little intro screen here. Um, just a backstory, it's your simple beat em up backstory, you're not going to get anything very complex with this series. Here we get some character bios. Adam, the oldest, and um, Bonsai. Hobby Bonsai. Whatever floats your boat. Video games with Axel. Trying to make a connection with us, I guess. And here we are at the title screen. I have to say, Streets of Rage has one of my favorite themes of, um, just about any game. It's easily my favorite game series out there. Okay, press start button, come on. So we have a few options here. We'll go to the options menu. Sound test, sound test. Level is your difficulty. I'll be playing on normal because easy is too easy and hard is too hard. I'm a pussy. Um, two players is co-op and one player is one player. So we have three characters. First is Adam. He's the strongest of the group, but he's also the slowest. There is Axel, who's the most balanced since the jump stat is completely negligible. And finally we have Blaze, who is the weakest but the fastest. Honestly, Axel's easily the best character and Adam's probably the worst, but he's always been my favorite because he's only playable in this game. So I choose him. We get into round one. Let's go. Awesome beat going there out on the streets in the shopping district and here we go so the B button is your basic combo you everyone has the different ones you have two jabs, an uppercut, and then a kick with Adam um, I couldn't tell you the others off the top of my head, I'd have to go grab my instruction booklet you can grab people and throw them, you can grab people and hit them and if you jump behind them you can do a slam C button is your jump button, you can do jump kicks, and A button is your special button, which I will definitely show off, I think, in round two. There's the jump kick. Now, there's four basic enemies in this game, and one that's a bit more uncommon. You see, first we got these orange-haired guys who are, according to the instruction manual in the Japanese version of the game, are named Garcia. They have a basic three hit combo and a basic punch. Um, the three hit combo, the third hit will knock you down, but after the second punch they usually get a little window of opportunity to attack back. There are various weapons. You saw me use the bottle, which is probably the weakest weapon in the game, but it's got a lot of novelty fun to it. You smash it over someone's head and then stab them with the broken end. Here I have a pipe now. The pipe has got the longest reach which makes it fairly, fairly useful, and we see a metal bat on the ground, which in my opinion is the overall best weapon. It's very strong, but just not quite has long reach of the um, pipe. As you can see, you can throw enemies into each other. It does a little bit of damage. I forgot to mention that these Garcia punks, they can actually carry weapons, a knife, a baseball bat, or the pipe. The knife we'll see a little bit later. Um, and every enemy has their own, uh, or there's three different types of AI. There's the aggressive, where they rush up to you and hit you fast. There's the stupid, where they just kind of slowly walk up to you and you can hit them. And then there's the more passive ones, which are really fucking annoying, because they just... They walk away from you when you start walking towards them. Uh, beating some ladies with whips. Can't get away with that nowadays. <laughs> Anyway, here's the knife. It's the strongest weapon in the game. See, I just took out that guy in one hit. Uh, 
Um, there's a turkey on the ground there. That'll fully restore my health. I don't use it. And here we are. Boss time. The music changes. This is one of my favorite boss themes. Streets of Rage has all around good music. This first game, at least. Um, I can only really think of one track off the top of my head that I really don't like. So this boss is really easy. Like, see, I just took him down quickly. He, all he can do is kick you and throw his boomerang. The kick will knock you down, the boomerang's easy to dodge. There we go, round one clear. We get a clear bonus for clearing the level, time bonus for how much time left over, and level bonus for the difficulty. Round two, the inner city. The slums, if you will. Um, really, it's the same deal, walk right, kill enemies. More Garcias, they're the most common punk you'll ever fight. Um, these yellow guys with the mohawks, they're called signals, they, um, they're probably easier to beat than the Garcias. Like, uh, Oh, well, there's the Pepper Shaker, the final weapon in the game. It does no damage, but it stuns someone, because, you know, Pepper makes people sneeze. Anyway, as I was saying about the signals, they only have two attacks. First is, an, is a shoulder throw, which you can counter easily. Second is a sliding attack. And the sliding attack will knock you down, but it's, it's not very strong. So we'll grab a knife. With the knife, at close range you'll stab, at long range you'll throw it. Um, you don't have any control over it, but it, it's it's useful just because it's a strong weapon. So we'll grab a bottle, because I love smashing the bottle over people's heads. That's so satisfying. See, there's an aggressive punk. Um, we have another whip lady who is named Nora. All they can do is whip you. Although, when you hit them, they will stay down longer, and you have to walk away from them. In fact, Later in the game, as it gets more difficult, you can try to hit them, they will scream, and they'll go into that crouching position where you can't hit them until you walk away again. They can be very annoying this way. Uh, yep. We beat more punks. More signals come up. See, there's the slide. You can't... they're invincible during it, so you have to be careful with it. There's the throw, and to get out of being throw thrown, you just hold up and C. That's it. There's that ghost screen, there we are. Another Garcia. Okay, now these karate guys, who um, are named Hakuo, I believe. They can be annoying. They have various jump kicks, they can recover from being knocked around. They're not so tough this early in the game, but the more you go on, they will get tougher. I just picked up an apple there. Apples are other health items. They only give you a small amount of health, though, so... Don't really rely on them if you're pretty low. Um... Oh, and here's the uncommon enemy. His name is Jack, he's a clown, and he juggles things. They can be axes or flaming sticks. Now... They're... They can be annoying if you don't have a pipe like I do. If you're stuck... Yeah. Um, another thing there, if you're standing over a weapon and trying to hit someone, it'll override and you'll automatically pick up the weapon, which can get you hit a couple times. Just a word of warning, just be careful with it. It happens to me a few times over the course of the game. Yeah, you can't walk into these guys because the fire will hit you. If you try to grab them, like that, as you can see, the fire kind of just um, sprung up and hit me again. There's a turkey that I should definitely eat. Um, here's a jack carrying axes, and it's the same deal. The only difference is that he's carrying axes. At least it's some variation. I don't know why he's not pulling more out, and um, now he's just kind of dancing there like a jerk. Yeah, those axes. He's so fucking annoying that way. You need a weapon to deal with them. Thankfully, when he starts throwing them like that, and I don't know if that's a bug or if he's supposed to do that as a shield when you try to jump kick him, but it's always amusing. Okay, here we go, boss time. We have Super Saiyan Freddy Krueger. Okay, seriously, this guy's name is Souther. 
Um, this guy used to be one of my, or he was my most hated boss in the whole game. I mean, he's bad enough that I have to call out the police here. He's actually really not that tough. It's, it's just that he has um, all these other Garcias walking around that can get in the way. The idea with this guy is you walk up to him vertically. You don't, you don't walk up to him diagonally, don't walk up to him horizontally, he will hit you first. Especially if you're Adam, because Adam's slow. You cannot jump attack this guy, he will counter it. You have to get to him vertically. As you can see, he's really easy when you got all the punks out of the way. And there we go, that's stage two, done. We're on a roll here. Except I died once. Round three, start. Off to the beach. I never mentioned it, but stage two probably has some of my favorite music in the game. I love that chord at the beginning. This track's good too. It's not my favorite, but it's definitely not the worst. Uh, break some tires that are randomly laying around on the beach. Always random stacks of tires around. Now this is the first stage with different colored enemies. The different color variations are just how much punishment they can take. Um, as as you'll see here, this blue guy goes down in two hits, and so does the green one, but sometimes they can take three. I don't really know how the health works in this game. There's no health bars like in Streets of Rage 2 and Streets of Rage 3. Just your own. There we go, the backdrop. That's probably the most powerful move in your arsenal, the backdrop. It doesn't matter which character. The problem is getting to the back, because you usually can't grab an enemy from behind. You have to grab them from the front and jump over. Money bag gives a thousand points. There's also gold bars that give five thousand. I don't think we see those till stage six. And I think they're only in stage six, actually, now that I think about it. Now, as you can see, these Garcias can be a bit of a pain when there's... They can also grab you from behind like that, which is sort of annoying, but if you jump, you'll do a jump kick and hit anyone in front of you, and then if you press B when you're coming down, you'll throw them away. So we've got a pipe now. Let's go. Yeah, she didn't last long. Yeah, he's not going to last long either. Definitely use that turkey, or... I forget if it's a turkey in this game. Ah, yeah. Now is when these guys start to get annoying. See, they jump all over the place, and they can kick you, and he keeps walking back like a dick. Signal tries throwing me. Doesn't work, because getting out of throws is easy. See, that's how the three-hit combo works. They hit me twice, and then I can usually get a hit in before they get the third one in. I don't know where that knife came from, but it's mine now. <laughs> this level has some neat visual effects with the waves crashing down over you like that. Ooh, I don't know how I got out of that one unscathed. <laughs> Probably should have died there. much to say right now. It's just a lot of beaten up punks going right to left. I believe I'm coming up to the boss soon, actually. Yeah, there goes the music fade. Who we got this time? Is that the ultimate warrior? Well, he killed me. It seems like something the ultimate warrior would do. Now, he's actually really easy here. All you have to do is get him into a pattern. You just have to keep jump kicking him. All he will do is run at you and try to hit you with his axe bomber. His axe bomber. The ultimate warrior using an axe bomber. Wow, that really just blows my mind. Um, that's it. See you in part two.